Today, we're going to look at a few ways to update the A10RX. First, let's use SD Utility. Download the firmware PRG file from the Sound Devices website. Then, launch the SD Utility application. Connect the A10RX via USB to the computer using the AXLR or an ARXMON. Connect a power source to the ARXMON or AXLR and power it on. From SD Utility, select File, Update RX, and then select the firmware PRG file to install. Click OK when firmware update is complete. To update A10RX firmware via an A10 rack, connect the A10 rack with a standard USB-A to USB-B cable. Ensure all A10RX receivers are properly slotted into the A10 rack. Then, power it on. Using SD Utility, select File, Update RX, and then select the firmware PRG file to install. Click OK to confirm. A status bar will indicate the progress of each A10RX. The receivers are updated one at a time. As the receiver is updated, its screen will display programming, and the LEDs will turn off. This is normal. After the update, the receiver's menu will be available again. Click OK when firmware update is complete. You can also update the A10 firmware via the Scorpio and SL6, or the 8 series and SL2. Copy the firmware PRG file to an SD card. Power on the 8 series and insert the SD card. Press the meters button and headphone encoder to access the receiver overview screen. Select a receiver to access the receiver details screen. You only need to select one channel per receiver to update the entire receiver. Select options, update firmware, then follow the prompts on screen. The A10RX and 8 series menu will display programming as the firmware is updated. A confirmation message will be displayed after this is complete. Hit OK. Now, our A10RXs are ready for action. Thanks for watching.